Hi hey guys, DBR here with a uh, tutorial for extreme graphics. I haven't uploaded in a while, but this year, 2010, promise you more uploads. Well, tutorials will be um, yeah, be on our page. So yeah, this tutorial I'll be doing today is how to make your uh, clips from gameplay or whatever you want to do. Uh, make it look good. I'll be using color curves and stuff right there. Let me read this. Yep, okay. Um, yeah, so here we go. Right, first we need to import our clip. Let's find my card form. Well, it's not card form, but uh, let's pick this because it's my better quality. There you go. Anyone that records in, uh, if you're using Pinnacle, it, see if you go to Dazzle. Whoops. Uh, see if you go to Dazzle and um, using Pinnacle, and you got the option good, better, best. I I use better. If you're using better or best, you get the static at the bottom. I'll show you how to get rid of it. So we got our clip right here. You see, our oh, project properties. Yeah. So it's still title here. Project video properties. Um I draw my template on HTV. So PCV30, that. So I'll click that. And it's 1280 uh, by 720, which is the maximum um, pixels for a YouTube video, HD. I got field order, non uh, non pixel aspect ratio square. Output rotation, just leave it blank. Frame rate NTSC, pixel format 8 bit, just leave that blank. Uh, full resolution rendering quality has got to be best. Motion blur type Gaussian, Dintelace method, wherever that is. Uh, just put it in, but fails. Then start a new, uh, start a new project with your settings and apply. And OK. Um, I'm just showing you a bit. Right, right. now we got the, this track motion over here. Should be track motion. Yeah, click on it. Make sure these two boxes up here, mock back aspect ratio and scale about center, is not clicked. So just make sure. Then when you click on width and the arrow, and just scroll up like so, and you start to see that the clip stretches out um, like that so then you've got the height the exact same thing I make sure the static is disappeared and by the way if you want to play clips in best and because normally they crash don't they um, just click and drag like that and hold uh, shift B and it plays through in best let me just play it through just to show you guys what it looks like so far so you see no static at the bottom so yeah so that's all the sizing done now we got to go to the video fx if you go up well yeah go on you see color curves a set and then drag it to the clip and we need to bring it down to a bit of a darker shade and it's the bottom one bring down now I'll bring the, this one a bit up this looks pretty sick to be honest um, I'll play that through again, shift B plays it through for me it plays about 2 seconds so like this and now we have to go down to soft contrast I just put the top one up and bring it down because it's a bit too dark now I go back to the clip and I go to a frame which shows the intervention while you got his headshot off right, like that then I go back onto FX and bring the contrast up a bit as you can see it goes darker and darker you don't want it too dark I put about 40 um, <coughs> you might want to put a bit of blue 
uh, Gaussian blur, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I just, if I if you would use Gaussian blur, I'd probably about to two. No, it's two on that. Just to give it a bit nice. Good old three. Whoa. Okay, I done that a bit wrong. Oh, okay, that's what I've done. Um, just put the two and yeah, simple. And just put a tinsy bit of a blue. What's your else? Uh, you can add on. Oh, saturation adjust you can put on. You can mess around with this. If you want the saturation really high, just put a mount straight up, center down, spread up. And it's got good contrast on that. If you want a black and white effect like that, that looks pretty sick. Um, yeah, as you can see, some parts are black and white, some parts are not, which looks cool. But I tend to put the contrast a bit down. The saturation, I mean, not contrast. And <coughs> that looks cool, to be honest. Um, play that through again. Shift B. It's taking quite long now because of the uh, stuff we've been putting on. He gets smashed in the head. You can see. Looks pretty sick. Um, <coughs> I think that's it, to be honest. Then, if you want to know how to render your clip, um, go on custom CBR. I'll do, I won't go into too much detail. I'll put a link to my channel and I'm uploading the rendering settings on there, my updated. So just watch that for the rendering settings. Yeah, I got Audio 9. <coughs> I got that. And I got the video CBR video 9 high definition 1280 by 720 NTSC square uh, 5 sharpness to the top bitrate I got in 4 and project has got to be best. Otherwise, you can just get shit quality and you really won't like it. If you want to save your template, just go to the top, type where everyone in, and save template. And that's all you need to know and see. So that's all you need to know. And yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Yeah, I'm DBL, and please subscribe to our channel for more uploads, tutorials. And my friend said, just to tell you that we're only doing uh, backgrounds and etc., like pictures and yeah. Uh, we're only doing it to people that's got over 100 subscribers now, just to let you guys know. So yeah, thank you for watching and please subscribe. And if you rate, makes the channel grow. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out, YouTubers.